ladies and gentlemen, we have great news to announce. CLG is hosting their annual cool floating competition soon, so make sure to register. As soon as I heard that on the radio, I knew I had to register myself there. Because after the Mustang makeover was a full success, I was ready for the next project. So I had to do the only plausible thing and go to the auction to get my horse for my first ever cold starting competition. In the evening after the auction, 905, a grey Turkoman stallion came to his new home. I decided to let him rest for the rest of the night before his first day at Lepiota's Pine Stables. Nine o five is a three year old horse produced by FTC and CLG Foundation Nine Horses. I knew this challenge will be easier than the Mustang makeover due to him not being a wild horse. But I also learned from last time that I always have to be open for surprises. Just like I did with Willow, I decided to go in and just sit next to him. In case I need to get some distance between us, I took my rope with me. But it ended up not being used at all. After watching me from a distance, he decided to check me out a little bit closer. He did bump me from time to time, but I didn't let him take me down. From the little time I know him, I can already say he is a brave and curious horse. He's a total energy ball and has no fear. seemed pretty comfortable around me. Maybe even a little bit too comfortable. <laughs> Later that day I decided to put a ball into his paddock and to see how he reacts. And instead of telling you, I would say, just have a look yourself. The next day I decided to get my most dominant horse, Confucius, into the paddock next to 902 to help balance out this ball of energy. I own multiple Turkomans already, so I know that they can be a little bit much sometimes, but I also know that my stallion Confucius is always really good at calming them down and showing them their place in the herd. And he knows that most of the time, the best way to deal with them is to ignore them. And surprise, surprise, it was working. 902 was calming down and now just curiously looking over. And now that the stallion was more calm, Confucius decided to introduce himself a little bit closer.
After a while, I went outside to check on them, and then I decided to give Confucio some attention. He did such an amazing job calling down the young stallion for his next little training. Because 905 did such an amazing job with the ball, I decided to introduce the flag, something that is moving in the wind and not just laying on the ground with no motion at all. He did show some more caution because of it, but... He was definitely not scared of it. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We have a storm warning issued. The storm is traveling from West Amberino down to West Elizabeth. So make sure to stay in the safety of your house when it's coming. After hearing this warning over the radio, I decided to bring both of the horses to the pasture, because there they can actually hide from the rain. Normally, I really do like storms, so I decided to lie down with Confucius and watch the rain. Nine oh five was a little bit skittish beforehand, but decided to trust it and come onto the shelter. And as we were sitting there enjoying the rain, the storm was getting worse and worse, so I decided to bring them inside. And after bringing in Confucius, I knew that I did the right thing. Because the storm turned into a hurricane, and I had to hurry. As I was approaching 905, I realized this is going to be a very fast halter training. I decided to give him lots of pets beforehand, and could only hope that that will go well. He did not like it, but the storm was more scary than the halter, so he decided to trust me. After making sure that everyone was safe, I made my way to my house. The next morning there were no signs left from the storm and I was confident I can start my training. Surprisingly, the quick halter training yesterday was enough to make him accept it. The training went really, really good, so he definitely deserved a little snack there. <laughs> 
While training 905, I decided to call him Fern. Fern got his well-deserved brush before I brought all my other horses to the pasture. I knew my stallions will behave, so it was time to introduce Fern to the herd. And with that, the first days for Fern at Lepiota's Pine Stables are coming to an end.